the Saturday wrap, the slightly sweaty Saturday wrap for Saturday the 10th of June 2023. And we're nearly up to the longest day of the year and it's like, um, anyway. Yeah, it's a Saturday wrap again where I go over the last week, the weather, the tech, and there's a lot of tech, the beers, there's a lot of beers, and a general things as well. Okay, as you know, I've started recording these on a Friday night because valuable drinking time in the day. And I also want to get out a beer in June thingy as well. So, okay, if you haven't seen this before, um, I just babble on. But there are subtitles. I do do subtitles. AI. AI whisper, actually. There you go. Anyway, the word or phrase of the week. Four words. Worldwide Developers Conference. WWDC, Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, which is on Monday. And it went on for two hours. And I'll drop back into this a little bit throughout this missive. But there was a changer there was a really big changer and lots of other things some good some bad some in the middle who knows anyway that was the word or phrase of the week the app of the week is a thing called shotter no e oh so it's web 2.0 uh, i was listening to the nosilla cast podcast nosilla is allison backwards um it's a screen capture utility for the Mac, it is really good. It was eight dollars. Currently, it's down to four dollars. Um, pounds equals dollars, um, and you can pay for it in pounds as well. So there's no um, fees for the US dollar things. It's really, really good. And if you're interested, go to podfeet.com. Go to the blog page, look it up. Really good review, or listen to it on the podcast, which is I do. The thing of the week. The thing of the week was MB07, a mini Beano the 7th for 2023. Um, I went back. I went back to Gloucester six days after I was here last. It's a long story, but it was really good. And surprisingly, rather grey. I think the grey weather stops this side of Offers Dyke or that side of Offers Dyke because um, it's boiling here and we really need some rain which we may or may not get tomorrow and we may or may not get thunderstorms it's all a bit vague um been out with the watering can twice today that was no fun to be perfectly honest but there you go anyway so let's look back at the week saturday i planted out my first tomato plant Actually, it was the only one that came through. Um, um, Crimson Crush, um, blight resistant, but it needs a cane to hold it up and you need to pinch it out. Because um, all my bush type didn't come through and my peppers didn't come through. Um, let's jump ahead. Thursday, planted out a cucumber. Um, and also on Saturday, my replacement peppers and uh, what are they? Lozano, I think. Bush type tomatoes. Um, so I was replanting those. And tonight, a teeny weeny weeny bit of green for the first tomato coming through. I am so pleased, despite the fact that I am well behind schedule. I'm going to get those in the ground as soon as they come out and they're big, and um, I'll have lots of cherry tomatoes. They will be blight resistant, although in this weather, not a great deal of blight around. But there you are. Okay, and um, Saturday afternoon, my father's 85th birthday, went down to his place, brought some of his friends home. Um, I had to make a speech, which I kind of missed that, um, so I had to wing it. Luckily, it went okay, because I can speak nonsense pretty well, to be perfectly honest. But there you go. Sunday morning, MB07 started, 6 o'clock departure to Gloucester stopped on the seven bridge actually the second seven crossing there was debris on it luckily only 10 minutes um but there was a policeman with a broom sweeping it all up i don't know what it was something must have fallen off a lorry because there was no accident there but um hats off to you sir uh, and the other guy from uh, who had the orange jacket on 
Okay. Um, Monday. Well, Monday. Yeah. Jumping ahead to Monday. Sunday was, well, Weatherspoons and in the Pelican in the afternoon. Monday, I was just like, hmm, fatigued. Sometimes my binos are not a rest. Sometimes they're hard work, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I spent all my time around the keys. Um, the brew house and kitchen there, they take camera vouchers, which is rather good, to be perfectly honest. And their staff were really rather good as well. Anyway, ended up in the um, warehouse number four for the Gloucester Brewery. They do a sour now. Unfortunately, they only had a third left. But the third I had, really good. End up speaking to a guy. I think he said he was one of the new directors. The good news is they will be doing an Oktoberfest, probably at the end of September, into October. So I need to dig out my official German got from the Gloucester Brewery Oktoberfest hat. Here's my plan. Book Friday, book Sunday, Saturday, go over the Pelican because Saturday last year was packed out with people. There was tons of them, and I was like, no, nah, there's far too many people for me. Because you know what I'm like, in the corner, nice and gentle, watch the world go by. Anyway, in the night, in the night, WWDC, Leo let me down, ended up streaming it on um, YouTube, which was quite good, actually. The big thing about it, Vision Pro. Okay, ignore the fact it's three thousand five hundred dollars to start, and you're probably going to need to pay more out if you've got defective eyesight like me. It's a pro device. It's not going to be released in the even in the states until the end of the year or early next year. It's a developers conference. It's going to take a long time and lots of price decreases, but I think it is the next big thing. I don't think it'll replace anything. I think it'll sit alongside other things, but I think it was a quality product. And I think they put a lot of time and effort into it. And I think it could be, given time, a winner. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that anyway. Uh, right, what else have we got? Um, oh yeah, I mentioned Thursday, cucumbers. Wednesday came back, watering can, watering can, watering can. By the way, coming back, stopped twice on the moat. Well, stopped once and nearly stopped twice. Hasn't happened for ages, apart from on the bridge going out. MB07, not the motorway holiday. Ah, right, Thursday. Thursday, a note from Apollo app. If you uh, if you like Reddit and you've got an iOS device, Apollo is a really good client. Very similar thing happening with Apollo that happened with TweetBot. Um, both third-party apps, both relying on someone else's API, um, Elon just cut off the API. Uh, Reddit, well, they're probably going to do an Ask Me Anything in about an hour's time. Just increase the price. Oh, actually, but the price, it wasn't. I think it was free before, but now it's going to be hugely expensive. And even Boost on Android, that's going away as well. It's a shame. I don't want to say greed or anything like that. They just don't realize who their audience are and how they get to them. And the third-party apps that are really good, as proved by Tweetbot, that's your audience. You need to look after that. I don't think they do or care, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, today, having a look at Lemmy. Uh, not the bassist who was with Motorhead. Um, it's a sort of decentralized activity pub version of Reddit. I've signed up for it already looks really good um okay a bit like mastodon to twitter the network effect is with twitter and reddit but i think given enough time it could be really rather good um anyway always worthwhile having a plan b in the background because otherwise things are gonna get bad he says looking at the time just coming into 10 minutes so um i think we'll call it a day there because i am hot and well, hot, to be perfectly honest. I need a drink. Um, well, at least water. Uh, I need to water my plants again. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, whatever, comments, comments wherever you are. Thank you for your time. I am now going to generate the transcription. Bye-bye.